The animal kingdom is teeming with fervor and intensity. While we often associate dramatic encounters with mammals, the insect realm holds its own fierce rivalries. Indeed, a bug's life painted a real picture. Dive into the most riveting confrontations within the insect kingdom. Number seven, wasps turn cockroaches into zombies. Now we have some science fiction kind of horror stuff going on. Although this one really isn't a fight as much as it is just totally insane. In this case, a female emerald cockroach wasp will locate a cockroach and sting the ganglia on its thorax when she's ready to become a mother. The cockroach's front legs are then paralyzed, allowing her to administer a second and more accurate stain in the cockroach's brain. The roach's escape reflex is disabled by the second stain, thus turning it into a zombie. The wasp may now grasp the roach's antennae and pull it away to a nearby burrow. But don't get too comfortable because the craziness doesn't end there. The wasp will then lay a single egg on the cockroach's abdomen and bury it after it's entered the burrow. The egg hatches after three days, and the baby wasp lives and feeds on the roach for four to five days. Then the young wasp will next eat its way into the roach's body, consuming its internal organs. Just as a reminder at this point, the cockroach is actually still alive throughout this entire process. It's at this point that the young wasp will consume its internal organs in a specific order to boost the length of time that the roach stays alive and that allows it to feed and develop further. It will eventually let the roach die and spin a cocoon within its body, emerging as an adult emerald cockroach wasp from the roach's empty husk. You can't even make something like this up, only nature could devise something as terrifying as this. Number six, kidnapper ant steals other ants' babies. Continuing this left turn into more science fiction type fights, we have some ants who will literally steal ant babies from other colonies, all in order to brainwash them back into their colony. And you heard me correctly, I did say brainwash. These kidnapper ants will attack the colonies of other ant species, kidnap the young, and then return them to their nest. When the kidnapped children reach adulthood, the kidnappers dupe them into hunting, cleaning the nest, and even chewing up their food for them. Which is all kinds of messed up when one colony attacks another, the ants really do fight each other in a vicious way. These really are some troopers it appears in this video, the red ants have a serious size advantage over the black ones. They've gotten away with a lot of the other ants' babies. Number 5. Fireflies eat other fireflies. Even cute little fireflies are actually brutal, cannibalistic murderers. But what is the insect world coming to? We all know and love these little bugs because they're able to light up their butts in order to attract mates. Well, what? Teachers and your parents don't tell you about the firefly's mating process is going to seriously shock you. Females of the firefly genus have learned how to mimic the flashes of other fireflies all in order to attract the males of those specific species. When one comes along, she then quickly pounces and drains his blood. What do you think she does next? Well, she eats the insides, of course. The scientist who originally documented this behavior in the 1970s, Jim Lloyd of the University of Florida in Gainesville, gave them the moniker Fem Fatal Fireflies, which are found across the eastern United States. Perhaps the female praying mantis and the genus of this firefly can get together and have a ladies' night out, all full of devouring and crazy insect baby making. Number four, the big scorpion against the huge hissing cockroaches. After that diversion into some crazy insect habits, we're now back on track with an ultimate insect fight in the form of a big scorpion, except this time he's matched up with not only one of those little baby crappy cockroaches, he's got to go against one of those big ones that hiss at you. This is one of the few types of roaches that doesn't have wings. So flight is out of the question. However, it does still know how to move very quickly. After dropping one of these 10 centimeter big cockroaches into the ring with a scorpion, nothing really happens. Although the scorpion definitely feels threatened after one of the humans introduces a few more of these roaches, it then kicks the scorpion into high gear. The roaches begin chasing the scorpion around before one of them makes a bad decision to get on the scorpion's back. Because that's when the scorpion begins to sting him, and the fight even finishes with the scorpion eating one of the roaches. 
Number three to 1,000 cockroaches versus mantis. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that the mantis is going to rock the socks off of all these roaches. They may have some power in numbers. However, the mantis has a serious leg up in terms of size and speed. In fact, roaches and the praying mantis are quite closely related having evolved from the same ancestry. Despite this fact, they're going head to head and immediately when the mantis is put into the arena, he does the smart thing and keeps his distance from the roaches by hanging from the glass walls. The roaches are unable to climb. So then, just as one of them gets close enough, the mantis strikes, and he's found his dinner. However, gluttony, it would seem, could be the undoing of the mantis. Right after he grabs the roach, he then falls off the wall and is almost immediately swarmed. While they may be climbing all over him, he doesn't really seem to be all that phased. He just really, really wants to eat that roach. Number 2. Black Widow V's Huntsman Spider Now this is a very nice matchup because two of the most dangerous spiders in the world are going head to head. Both the Huntsman and the Black Widow are venomous. The Black Widow is much more potent though. On the other hand, the Huntsman is at least four times the size of the Black Widow. In the beginning of the fight, they both seem to be going as hard as they can until something happens about 45 seconds in. That's when the Huntsman seems to have slowed down considerably. All while the Black Widow continues to shoot his web at him to try and wrap him up. The Huntsman begins to bleed from his face and it appears that he was bitten and now the venom is really beginning to take its toll. His legs start to curl as the Widow continues shooting a web and it appears to be over with the Widow taking a very shocking and well-deserved win. This was a brutal fight, but it definitely establishes the Black Widow as the spider that's not to be messed with. Number 1. Huntsman Spider and Gigantic Wasp Battle to the Death It only feels appropriate that for the last entry on our list, we'll have two losers that go head-to-head -to, -head to see who really sucks the least and who'll be on the bottom. So, the Huntsman Spider, who got pretty owned the last round, is going up against a wasp who, for those of you that don't remember, got its face eaten off by a freaking mantis. The huntsman doesn't really seem to be off to a good beginning in this one, with the wasp on top of him. The wasp seems to be stinging the spider multiple times in the abdomen, which is probably going to spell out defeat and death for the huntsman, but regardless, the tussle continues for a bit longer, then near the end, the huntsman spider's legs begin to curl a bit. This is a true signal that he may be down for the count. Although that wasp doesn't seem to be doing so hot either. As close as this was between the two of them, it appears that the wasp has come out on top, leaving the huntsman to be the second worst on the list. The absolute worst? Well, that goes to the cockroaches because they just suck in general. From the looks of it, the scorpion is the list's champion insect. There were some close calls and bitter ends, but it's my honor and duty to name the scorpion, who earns the title of the Insect Kingdom's champion in your eyes. Dreamt of any epic bug showdowns? Share your thoughts in the comments section, and don't miss out on the intriguing content popping up on your screen. Catch you in the next one.